Well, I managed to catch up with this. I told her about my experience with the park. I knew I could count on her. She does make me laugh. She said there was a pig in the boot. I've never heard of it. Must be an age thing. Probably one of her hits. Always on the ball, that one. For stealing mine. She mentioned she bumped into Doris. I told you that park wasn't white enough. Poor Doris. I hope she's okay. Be like a fish hitting a wall. Damn, that must hurt. Well, Doris said that over the course of 2022, the trustees of the Boot Hall achieved all three levels of a nationally recognised quality standard for village halls and community facilities. A quality and what for what? There's not even a drinking bowl in the patio area, and certainly no treats on offer. It's the comments at the table. Or was it chair made of a single room three that ruffled her hair? As I said, this place is strange. Talking furniture now. According to the website, the focus of level three is community engagement. Community enforcement, rather. The chair said, We are delighted to see our Moomang Free Award, which is a combination of the Office Hard Work by the committee to achieve all three Hoomang Awards in one calendar year. The Hoomang visitors were supported and encouraging throughout the process, and the whole way improved for our hires as a result. He said hires. No reference to community. This is run like a business rather than a community asset. We even found evidence that there's a third club which hires, yes, hires out the hall. The only community here is for cats and birds. Cats can go on grass, and birds are allowed in the village hall on Sundays. This place is doggies. I got a cage, I can go in, just it's called a crate. But I'm not allowed in on Fridays. The hallmarks are valid for 21 years. No, sorry, 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 sorry. That's three human years. After that, they're reassessed. That's due next year, as in 2025. We've got a plan. It's not all bad here, mind you. The children's play area is a fantastic facility. Just a no-go area for little me, but one area I'm allowed to go is the nature reserve. Or the nature garden. Community garden. I don't know what it's called. From what I can tell, it's just a cat's hunting ground. I personally wouldn't recommend using the herbs or eating the strawberries, don't think of it. I think I may have weed on them in the past. It's a lovely, peaceful area. Bit of a death trap for us pups, mind you. I'm sure they're trying to lick this food to dogs. What, no exercise and poisonous food? Some of the plants in there are actually toxic to us. Anyway, Bess has told me to hide out the car this weekend and we're off to Mark Hart Leisure Centre Plan, Bill Gingwood will see, to tell the guys that our village is a catastrophe when it comes to us dogs.